our system, we call it the modified wheel. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna set up the right angles? And what exactly should you be working on when you do this drill? We're gonna talk about it in this video, so check it out. Hey everybody, it's Eric John. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Verite Throws Nation. In today's video, what we're gonna talk about is a continuation on wall throws, and we're gonna be talking about our modified wheels, and that is basically where we're setting up in the throw. And one of the key things that we're gonna be doing is one, we're trying to get in a lot of reps. Two, we wanna understand how we work all the things that we were working on the stand throw position, which we refer to as five six. When we get into a half turn or a modified wheel, what we're talking about is working pillars three, four, five, six. So we're working the sprint phase. Now, the way we're starting out, we're we're gonna show you how to set up the sequence, how to move, and again, be conscious of the high point, the delivery side, and how we're trying to translate technically what we're doing in our drills into our throws. So what we're gonna do is have Karsten demo again. Okay, so one of the things is you're gonna notice how we set up Karsten and how we have him set. He, he's gonna set in alignment is one of the critical components we talk about. Make sure we have the proper alignment set. Again, the way we teach it in our system is we wanna teach that left to right motion. Okay, and that's gonna be really, really critical. Okay, so one of the things that we, we just discussed is we're gonna be always conscious of moving left to right. What we like to teach in our system is that movement and we wanna simulate basically from this point to this point. And you're gonna notice when I do that, this is one of the key things where we're gonna work on in the next video, we'll talk about that as we go through kind of a South African for the discus. But for what we're gonna do is a lot of people will just kind of start like this and they wanna teach them to kind of finish up this way. I think that that has an, its effectiveness and it's worked for a lot of people. But again, what we're really trying to do is simulate when we're here is movement of moving the hips into the position so that we can stay on top of the axis, come around, and again, we're looking at our orbit and delivery side. So we're gonna have Karsten kind of, you'll notice how he sets up. He's conscious of his sweep position, so he sets the position there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna shift his hips back just a tiny bit, and when he shifts his hips back, we're gonna make sure that the chest is just angled a little bit forward because we're gonna be feeling this sprint position and the turning position. So we're gonna start to begin and initiate that angle. Good. So what we're looking for is when he, when he does this, we wanna make sure that we feel the throw continuous. So you're gonna notice that there's a little bit of a hesitation in his throw, and that's something we've been working on because he's kind of reaching and we're trying to keep him to keep the right side moving, okay? So go ahead, we're gonna set it up and he's gonna be pushing off the left. He's gonna be setting the position again, so go ahead. There you go. So that was better, we're moving the hip through. Again, the chest is just a touch forward. So as we go through, he's gonna be really working on rotating, getting that right side to follow around and that delivery side into the throw. Now, one of the three key things with wall throws, you're gonna notice we can just go nice and repeated. So he's gonna be able to throw, pick up the ball, set up, throw again, pick up the ball, set up, throw again. And then one of the things we're gonna to wanna to do is integrate in some drills. So go ahead, we'll, we'll work on that. And then we'll have Carson do the push-pull drill and then we'll kind of go back to another uh, modified wheel. Okay, so he's gonna come up. Not bad. Now, one of the things is, is what we wanna do is be conscious of the timing of the orbit. So if he gets the orbit up here, it's kind of hard to just keep the discus up. So we're gonna keep it more here so he can wind it and kind of get it up more this way. So we won't have him wind up so high and set the high point here and try to keep it high. We're gonna set the high point here. It's gonna be here so it's gonna move up to the high point. All right, here we go. That was better. Now, did you feel the difference? Okay. So these are gonna be some of the simple adjustments. So if you're doing your wall throws, you want to be focusing on the technical positions. And again, in the throwing chain reaction system, the way we break down the throw, we're working at what, what's our movement look like in three, four, five, six. And so we're gonna pepper in specific drills for those movements. So right now I'm gonna have Carson do a simple drill we call push-pull drill. And we're gonna be working on the path of the left from this position into the power position. So the key thing is I'm gonna want to have him understand when we work the push-pull, we're gonna be pushing and we're gonna make sure that the chest is staying kind of over that leg and so that we have a counterbalance angle. So go ahead, do that. We're gonna do, we'll do four of them real quick. We'll do the repeat, go into the power position. So push, pull, 
And what we're going to do is we're going to keep that. And I'm going to want to make sure he's doing this. And notice how he kind of set himself here. We want to keep the chest over here so that we're keeping more weight over the delivery leg. Okay, so now go back. There we go. And so when he sets up and he pushes again, and you're going to notice when he's trying to reset and do the drill, he winds up getting a little too far forward. And we want to make sure we're maintaining that front to back, that left to right movement. So move the hips back just a touch. Okay, now wind, get this. Yep. Better. Okay. So we're going to be pushing and pulling left. We're going to have him do one more and then we're going to have him do another half modified wheel. And then we're going to be concluding this video. Okay. So go ahead, push, pull. Good. So one of the things is we're looking at the path. We're going to have Carson take another throw and he's going to be now trying to be conscious of that push pull position. So he's going to be pulling the left and keeping the chest over the top of the mid thigh. And so that's going to help him again, maintain this type of position. Okay. Good. Now he's got a little bit of a tendency to want to pull through. And one of the things that we've talked about, he's always been one of the athletes where he likes to hit. And what we're trying to do is have him keep the right side continuous. So I'm going to have him take one more throw, thinking about push pull on the left and keeping the, the right continuously moving through the throw, not thinking hit the throw at the wall. Okay. Not that. <laughs> okay, he missed that one. But that's what happens when you're working on these throws. What we want you to understand is that there's no shortcut to throwing further. With our system, we're trying to lay out technically exactly what needs to be done so you understand mechanically. And then over time, usually within the second year, athletes are starting to develop their unique styles. But you have to learn mechanics first so that you can continue to improve and develop. Once you understand mechanically what's been due, then you're going to be more inclined to find the specific styles style that's going to fit your throws. All right, so hopefully you guys found that helpful. For online members, guys that are already subscribers to our inside our throwing chain reaction system program, we're gonna take this video, and we're gonna go in, in depth, we're gonna go into at least three to four more drills, and we're gonna break down some of the technical things in more depth. But for those of you watching today, hopefully you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we will see you on the next video. So he's going to be here and when I have him winding, we're going to be here and he's going to be loading this more here and he's going to be getting this sweep 